Hello, I'm Greg Logue, and I will share a few brief remarks about my old friend, John Harley Fowler. I, met, I first met John Fowler in the spring of 1986 when I was practicing in Sevierville. John had recently opened a Sevierville office. John realized there were no bankruptcy lawyers in Sevierville, in Sevier County, and he rented office space in the building where I was practicing. The John Fowler I fondly remember was a competent bankruptcy professional who knew the code, the rules, and the case law. John was not flashy. John was a humble man. John did not spend his money on fancy cars, fancy clothes, or fancy houses. Instead, he invested in his family and his children. He sent both of his kids to Catholic high school, which both of his boys now realize was a sacrifice for John and his wife. John also made me laugh. John was one of those guys who could smoke, talk, and play the guitar all at the same time. He reminded me of the Engl English comic strip character, Andy Cap. John could talk with a cigarette hanging out of his lips and never miss a beat. John was also musically inclined. For some reason, in the fall of 1986, he decided that he was going to start playing the guitar. For some, for, to my knowledge, he had never uh, played the guitar or taken formal lessons up to that point in time. As I would sit in my Sevierville office, I would hear John strumming on his guitar, teaching himself new songs and new rhythms to play for me later in the day. Usually about quitting time, John would show up in the doorway of my office with that cigarette hanging from his lips, and he'd play me the newest John Fowler rendition of a song. He actually became quite good at playing the guitar. I recall seeing him on numerous occasions at the front steps of the Sevier County Courthouse playing his guitar for whoever would listen. More recently, when I would attend bankruptcy court in Knoxville, I would often find John out in the courtroom or out in the courtyard before court would start. I would always get that same smile and, and the recognition of an old friend. I would always stop and chat with John for a few minutes and he always made me feel better, made me laugh about whatever was going on in life. John was a good lawyer, a good friend, a good husband, and a good father, and will be missed by all. Thank you.